Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, I'll be talking about Playwright Agents released by Microsoft a couple of days before. And we are going to talk about how this agent works. Well, you might be thinking, hey, Karthik, hold on. You already talked about the same Playwright Agent in our last video, but why exactly are you talking about it again? Well, guess what? Microsoft reached out to me and said that the way that I used these agents was actually not correct. Meaning that particular Visual Studio code, which I was using by the time, did not have the ability to invoke the Playwright test MCP server that they have created. If you remember in our last video while I was showing you, it was actually using the Claude's own model to perform all the operation. For example, planning operation that you can see that the planner operation was actually invoking the entire uh, operation by reading the code and also running the applications and also trying to do everything. The generator agent was also doing the exact same thing by using the power of the Claude model. So it was not even using the Playwright's MCP server which they built in order to make that happen. Well, guess what? Now they have actually told me and reached out to me and said that it needs to be running only with the latest version of the insider preview build of the Visual Studio code. If not, it's not going to work. So they have a bug imminent. And that's the reason why this particular MCP server that you are seeing over here may not be working as expected. But you know what? While we were trying to run the healer agent in our last video, you might have seen that the healer agent was actually invoking the Playwright MCP server for us over here and it was all just working fine. But still, that's not the correct way of using it. So they wanted me to try out with the latest version of the insider build of the Visual Studio Code and they are still working on a fix to make that work. So the new version of Visual Studio Code might have that fix but not yet. So you need to use the insider preview build to make that happen. So I'm going to try out the exact same operation that we tried doing it in our last video, but just that with the insider preview build, not with the, uh, with the current version of Visual Studio Code. So in order for you to do that, you need to go to the Visual Studio Code insider preview build and you need to go here and you see that just download this particular version you will be presented with the insider preview build just download it and start doing the exact same operation like how i was doing last time and i will show you how it is going to invoke the playwright mcp server that they have created and how it's going to invoke the uh, the different toolings while i'm going to invoke the planner agent generator agent as well as the healer agent. So I'm gonna show you everything in a very, very quick and crisp way instead of going to the details of the uh, the Playwright agents itself. So if you want to learn more about the Playwright agents, like how this thing works, I would recommend you to go and watch the other video, but at least in this particular video, I'm just gonna show you how this actually works. So in order to do that, I have already downloaded this particular Visual Studio Code Insider Preview Build, and I'm gonna open that with the fresh and pristine state of my application. All right, so now I'm in the Visual Studio Code Insider build, as you can see over here. If you're just gonna go and see the about, it is the Visual Studio Code Insider, and this is the version that you should be at least while you are going to run this particular operation that I'm gonna show you right now, right? And I'm also gonna delete the uh, GitHub uh, chat modes and everything because I don't want this one. And also I'm gonna remove this particular dot VS code as well because I'm gonna do everything from the scratch just want to make sure that everything works as expected. So in order to do that one more time, I'm gonna say this one, the npx playwright init agents loop VS code. And the moment I run this, you're gonna see that there is gonna be this particular agents coming up, the planner.chatmode.md file, which has got the description of what this particular agent is, what are the tools that it's gonna be using, and it also gonna show you what are the operation this particular planner agent is gonna do. And as you can see that this particular agent is gonna do the navigation operation, analyzing the user flows, designing comprehensive scenarios, and structuring the test plans, and creating a documentations, uh, and how it's gonna structure, it's gonna show you all of these operations. We already discussed about it in our last video. If you're not really watched it, I highly recommend to go and watch there. And the same thing goes for the generator agent, which is going to use a bunch of tools and it's going to do the generation of the test cases in the playwright, uh, which is going to be looking like this, as you can see, this is the syntax that they are looking for. And then there is this healer agent, which is going to use a bunch of tools, which is going to go and heal the test if the test fails. That's what this guy is going to do as well. And once we have everything, you'll also notice that there is a c.spec.ts file. This is especially used if your application has got some dependency before it starts running. And in my case, my application runs only in the Docker container, as you know, we have saw in the last video. And this application is currently running in the Docker container, as you can see over here. Uh, and I have just 
uh, ran this using the Docker Compose file because I have the Docker Compose file to run both the UI and the API together. That's what this guy is gonna do over here. And once I have everything, I can now start using these agents, as you can see over here, the planner agent to generate the uh, plan or the test plan for my test execution. And then the generator agent to go and generate the tests. And the healer agent is gonna fix the test if it fails for some reason. So I'm gonna go and start doing it. So I'm gonna invoke this planner agent. The moment I call this planner agent, just to show you one more time, the tools will be automatically selected for you over here. See, it's gonna choose the edit uh, tool, the search tool, and the playwright tool, the playwright test tool. This was not happening in the Visual Studio Code, the current version, because it doesn't have this particular fix there, but now it is all working. That's the reason why I was just wondering last week, like why this was even going away, but now it all makes sense that this is the reason why it did not work. And now it's very obvious and very clear that it is gonna work for us for sure. And these are, these are the tools which are being selected for this particular agent. So if you're gonna go and choose some other agent, let's say healer agent, uh, you will notice that the other tools will be chosen over here. Uh, just gonna maybe show you that particular tool one more time. Just escape over here. And you see that it's gonna choose these many tools. And if I'm gonna choose maybe the generator agent, if I'm gonna go the uh, show the tools over here. See, it's not choosing the, the search tool or anything like that. Uh, sorry, the edit tool. Rather, it's just choosing the search tool and the MCP tool. So it's going to change based on the number of tools which is being listed over here uh, in the tools of the MD file. And again, this uh, this particular syntax that you are seeing over here is all followed by the agent.md website. So this is the there's a place where you define the agent, like how the agent should behave and things of that nature, right? And once we have everything over here, let's start working with the entire code operation itself. I'm gonna say, can you generate a test plan for the application uh, by understanding the application structure, uh, because the app is uh, holding is a three tier app with front end uh, being the EA web app and back end and API is going to be the product API. Application is running in Docker container already so you can access it. So I'm gonna give all of these information because I'm not gonna use the c.spec over there. And also make sure that you give the context to tell exactly what this particular uh, agent should look for and the model uh, to look for as well. So I'm gonna give all the context over here for my application so that you can go and understand what exactly this one is doing. And also I'm gonna give uh, probably the Docker Compose file so that it can go and understand that the Docker Compose is running as well. So anyways, it's running. So I think it is just gonna work. So cross my finger this time and I'm gonna run this and see what is gonna happen. So I expect the MCP server to be up and running this time. So I can see that the MCP server is still not running there, uh, which is which is not happening. And I'm just waiting for the MCP server to be instantiated. Uh, and uh, let's see what is gonna basically happen. So it has found the application structure I said, I read that. And now you see that the MCP server is running. This was not happening last time. Now it is in the running state. And you see that the, the planner agent uh, is starting to execute because the playwright test MCP server is starting to execute. This is pretty cool. This was the case which we were missing last time. And now this is happening. So the bug is imminent. Uh, so make sure that while you try running this particular agent, you use the latest version of the uh, the insider preview build, and then you can run this particular uh, test. So now what it has done over here, it's going to look at the c.spec.ts file for some reason, even though I told that I am gonna be using this particular application, which is the EA app uh, like that, but it tried looking at that part one more time. I think the c.spec.ts file is gonna work better if you're using a Node.js based application. But in my case, since I'm using a .NET based application, I don't have all the uh, operation to launch the server there. That's the reason why this is not gonna work out. I think Microsoft is still going to work on having a way to, to fix the issue or a way to run the .NET application, uh, not just by limiting people to use the spec. Uh, c.spec.ts file. That is not how it's going to work uh, in future. So I'm just going to wait for the comprehensive test plan to get ready over here. 
There we go. You can see that the test plan is now created. And if I'm going to go to the test plan, you can see that this is going to give the entire uh, plan uh, for this particular application, which is quite amazing. You can see that it is like super uh, detailed over here. Like it's going to show you all of the details, like how this application is. And it has also written the complete test cases this time. They create a valid product, all the field populated. This is the steps, uh, expected results, and similarly create the product with the minimum required fields and things of that nature. So it has got all of the information there, which is quite amazing. So, so the test plan is now created, right? And now, as Microsoft suggested, I'm going to go to the new chat over here. Oops. I'm going to keep this thing over there, which is great. And I'm going to go to the new chat and I'm going to have the test plan as the context over here. And then I'm going to choose the generator guy. But even before I start running the generator over here, because my application or my source code doesn't have any uh, playwright installation whatsoever, like playwright configuration or playwright uh, configurations, like playwright configurations or uh, the playwright installations in my particular project, this thing is not going to work. So what I should probably do right now is I'm not going to use any of these uh, agents for that matter. Uh, maybe I'm just going to use the agent over here. And then I'm going to say, can you generate a scaffold a playwright Node.js application setup uh, in this project? Add it under the tests folder, something like that. And the moment I do this, now this agent is nothing but this is the normal uh, the cloud agent which we are going to be invoking over here and you see that now this guy is going to start doing things for me so it is going to go and creates a tests folder which is over there and it's also going to set up the package.json file as you can see over here and then it is going to do the installation of the playwright and it's also going to do the uh, the playwright uh, package configurations as well as the playwright configurations itself. So it's going to do all of these operations for me over here. Once I have everything, I can then invoke the generator agent to call these uh, tests over here. So this is something which I have not done last time because it is all taken care by the model automatically. But over here, I want these to be there before I invoke the generator uh, agent itself. So I'm going to run these setup over here. You see that how it's going to take the latest versions and everything uh, and then set it up for me. And you can see that it is creating some things over there, like some tests as well, some example tests and the node folder. Uh, and there is this uh, playwright.config.ts file as well. So whatever that I need, is all there, which is pretty great. So it's all just creating things for me. It's also creating a readme file, just in case uh, for us to be reading like how this particular code is uh, code needs to be executed. So which is pretty neat. So I have all of these set up over here, which is awesome. I think it's fixing some of the things on the playwright.json file, which is great. Cool. So now we have got the project structures and the framework structure, which means now I can start using this particular structure while I'm going to be running the test against the generator agent, which is going to generate the test and put the tests on this particular folder. So we will next run that particular part over there. So now to do that, I'm going to go and uh, probably I'm just going to keep all of these changes and I'm going to open a new window and I'm going to choose the generator agent over here. So now I'm going to start generating the tests. So I'm going to say generate the tests based on the test plan. And I'm probably going to say just generate few tests instead of generating everything because it's going to take a long time. So I'm going to say uh, just the application accessibility and the navigation. Uh, so I'm going to generate test based on the test plan for application accessibility and navigation and I'm going to hit run. So this is going to just generate just this particular test alone instead of generating like all the tests, which is completely not required. And it's going to take a lot of time for doing that. So I'm going to just see if this time it's going to invoke the Playwright MCP server. And look at that. Now it has invoked the Playwright MCP server to generate the test case. This was something which was not happening last time. And now it is happening. So which is great. Uh, let's see what's really happening there. Oops, it seems like it is looking for the c.spec.ts file, which is there. And I don't know why this is still not happy with it. So I'm going to set hello again. And this is still not working. Uh, I see this. There is an issue with the wrong location. Let me try without specifying the seed file. 
Okay. Let's see if this is work. Oh. Hmm. I think the seed file looks like very important file over here. I don't see this is really um, working there immediately. Uh, and look at that every single time the uh, test is failing. And it says the tool not found. Browser navigate. I thought the tools are there. So uh, let me just stop this. So I don't think this is really working this time. So if I'm going to go to the generator and if I'm going to choose the tools here. So this is the MCP server and it has got all the tools. But it seems like it is not choosing the tool correctly. It says that the tool uh, not found for browser navigate. So is it not really selecting the browser navigate for some reason? So if I'm going to go here, uh, there is this browser handle and browser navigate. Oh, look at that. See, this? Oh, the browser navigate is selected anyways, but it still says that the, the generator agent could not able to select it. So it could be because the generator agent is not holding the navigate for some reason. So if I'm going to go here, playwright test, and there is playwright browser navigate. I don't know why it says that the tool not found over here. I think this is still an imminent issue. I don't see this is still working through though. But what I can do is just for the sake of this particular demonstration, maybe I'm just trying to fix it myself, is to choose all the tools uh, over here. And look at that. It's going to choose all the tools this time. And it's going to choose all the search tools. So ew, I'm just going to try out myself and see if this is really going to work or not. So I'm going to say generate the tests for uh, based on the uh, test plan uh, for I'm going to just choose the test plan over here. And the test plan is going to be for this guy, right? Application accessibility test uh, over here. And I'm going to hit run. So we will see if this is going to work because I see that clearly the tool is not selecting the correct um, uh, the correct tool in uh, over there. So I'm going to give the entire tools access for the playwright this time and we will see if this is going to work. Mm, nope. I don't see this is still working. I think there are still problems there for sure uh, and Microsoft definitely has to address this particular issue. Um, and it says the project Chromium not found. And I think we do have Chromium for sure. And throwing a bunch of error for some reason. Oof. Nope. No. I'm sorry. This is not working. So I can clearly see that this is an issue. I think Microsoft team is going to go and fix that. But it is again going through the manual operation uh, of creating the test plans, which is like, the same thing which I was showing in my last video where the Claude uh, Sonnet 4.5 is going to go and create the test cases. And again, this thing is just going to work because we have saw in the other demo like how this is going to work. So this is really a bummer. It's not really working. Uh, we need to fix, I mean, Microsoft needs to go and fix that particular issue. I think this is still going to be a problem and they, I don't see that this particular tooling is still working. So... That's it, guys. That's what I can try it. I can't really go and fix this particular issue. Microsoft is going to fix it. And we will wait for them to come up with some solution on that. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope these issues are going to be fixed. And I hope they are going to give a better way to tell us how we can use this c.spec.ts file, even though we have everything in here to navigate to the application. But still, it's not working. Let me know your thoughts about this and catch you in the next one.